what is the function of the fibula? Yeah, like why do we need it? Because the tibia is weight bearing, right? The fibula doesn't bear any weight. It looks supportive. It looks supportive, and yeah, it's a little bit supportive, but it's interesting because if you look at, um, if you look at fibula in some other creatures, some of them are tiny like really look like a needle. I mean, the creatures are smaller too, but it's really interesting to look at. I, I was in Paris a month ago and there's this fabulous museum of paleontology and I couldn't read any of, the, any of the stuff written about it, but they also just have tons of collections of bones, all these bones of all these different animals. And a lot of the, f from the last like 300 or years or something, and they're just all jumbled together. So you might see like, across, there might have been like 10 skeletons across of zebras and rhinoceroses and all these different animals and all around the walls. It was great. And so I went around and I got really interested in looking at collarbones and pelvises. But I also looked at the feet some and you know there's a whole lot of creatures that, that walk on their feet like this. Their feet are organized like this. And some of the fibulas are just barely there. And it, they organize in a completely different way. Anyway, in humans, what, what the fibula does is it do, if it, um, it's there so that that ankle joint can accommodate the changing shape of the top of the, t of the talus. Because if it were all one bone, like here, if these were fused together, it could, if it were all one bone, then when this slides, I don't know if you can tell, but when this slides, it doesn't stay, because it's stuck together, fused together, it doesn't stay congruent with the talus, it doesn't stay in relationship with the talus, it, it gaps when it goes back and um, it's too wide when it slides back here. This gap would make the joint really unstable. So when that we need the fibula because we need there to be two bones there instead of one bone to accommodate that changing shape at the top of the talus. To keep those three bones in relationship through this whole movement of walking. So it's quite a range, right, from dorsiflexion to plantar flexion to have to keep three bones in relationship with each other and weight traveling through them. This needs to be able to transmit weight, this needs to be able to transmit weight, and this needs to be able to transmit weight. Any one of those can't, isn't a throwaway movement. Right? There's no point in that range where it's not important that the tibia and the talus stay in relationship. So the fibula is, is not the transfer point of weight here, the, the contact surface is here, but the fibula, so in a, like it's there to keep the congruence in the joint. But in another way, it has this ability to kind of steer and organize. And if we look at the foreleg, if there's something that's about stability, we say the tibia is this weight transferring about what's going down, then the fibula is what's out there going, okay, I can accommodate and I can adjust to this and I can adjust to this. And it's the thing that keeps accommodating so that the tibia and the talus can have a good relationship. <laughs>